Hey guys, it's Doc, and it's Labor Day weekend. It is Monday, and I'm out here, and I'm gonna make a video for you about fall Bermuda grass care. Good time to do it, so hold on. Hey guys, uh, I haven't updated the Bermuda grass calendar in a while, that video at least, but what I did do was I put up a brand new Bermuda grass calendar up on the website, howtowithdoc.com. So what you have there is you have a circular calendar. It's really a reminder. That's just a reminder. Then what you do is when you see something that you need to have done, you come back to our website and you look down below. And on that Bermuda grass calendar page, which I'm gonna keep up, I've done, I've done some and I'm gonna do more extensive instructions step by step of exactly what to use and when to use it. The only thing you have to do is sort of turn this dial a little bit depending on your geographical location. Now I'm basing this calendar on sort of middle Georgia. So obviously if you're in a different region, different temperature zone, you're going to turn that a little bit. Obviously if you're in California or if you're in Texas, you're going to base it sort of on the temps. So if we start to get our first freeze in cold temperatures late October, early November, then you're going to have to adjust that based on, based on your sort of setting in your area. So a couple quick notes before we start on this. Uh, I just did a grub video and I actually took down the grub video and redid it because um, a viewer actually spotted something in it that needed to be corrected. That's a good video to watch. But the fall, when we're talking about September and October, the only thing you can do, there's only really one product you can put down to kill grubs because the grubs are actually large and they're mature this time of year. So there really is only, you have to put down a grub killer. You do not want to put down a grub preventer at this time of year. It won't have any effects. So that's a good video to watch. If you haven't watched the grub video, watch that grub video. Also, at the end of that grub video, I actually put some of the results of our organic fertilizer testing that we've had down. Now, unfortunately, right after we started doing this testing, we ran into a drought. And we haven't had rain, and it's been almost two weeks, and it's been temperatures in the 90s. It's been brutal. Every single lawn in my neighborhood is browning out and burning out, except for mine. Mine looks great. And those test strips that we've been doing with the organic are just phenomenal. Now I've been talking next just over the next 12 months and over the next year, I'm gonna be talking a lot about amino acids on your lawn. Uh, and if, like I said in that video, if you wanna have some fun, do some research, just Google amino acids turf. And you'll start to see how a lot of the academics and a lot of the trained people and professionals really are focusing on amino acid pools. They're not even really, a lot of people focus on nitrogen. They're not even really worried about nitrogen. They're really focused on, de on delivering amino acids into turf for lots of good health, um, for the ability to survive droughts. And we're seeing that in our test strips. It actually worked out well that we had a bit of a drought hit with this new organic fertilizer that should be hitting the market within a week or two. And we still have time to put it down. So just chill out, hold on. But um, again, amazing, amazing results. Now the important thing to remember about a organic fertilizer is that it's not a primary fertilizer. There are, actually it's direct versus indirect. So a direct fertilizer, it's like taking chemicals, just putting the chemical out. And indirect, you put a substance out that gets eaten by your lawn and gets digested by your lawn, which then releases the chemicals into your lawn. That's the difference between like something like a malorganite and something like an organic fertilizer. You're not putting out NPK. You're not putting out the chemicals. You're putting out something that's going to be digested and release it. So it takes a little time. And what we're finding is that time period for this organic stuff is right about 10 days, 12 days. That's when we start to see it. So it's very specific what I say, what we're going to say to do on this. Uh, number one, put out the organic fertilizer as heavy as you want. I put a test strip out and I show the test strip. Maybe I'll show it again here in a second. But we put out, I just took handfuls and dumped it and dumped it on this test strip. And it literally was covered with fertilizer. Now, if I did that with normal fertilizer, that strip would just completely burn out. That strip is bold and beautiful. So you can put out as much as you want. That's the thing to remember with this fertilizer. You cannot burn your lawn. Let me say it again. With this organic fertilizer, because it is a secondary delivery method, you cannot burn your lawn with this. I don't care if you put out five times the prescribed amount you will not be able to burn your lawn. And that's what's wonderful about this stuff. You're always worried about, am I gonna burn it? Is it, or is it a drought? 
we proved it. We've put out five to 10 times on some of our test strips. We've gone through a drought period. Barb's lawn, you're gonna see if you watch that or I'll put it up here, that green test strip, her lawn hasn't had any water. It's just amazing. Anyways, let's move on. Let's talk about the fall. So I posted, I'm gonna read some of the stuff I posted for that's actually on the website. You can go to the Bermuda grass calendar page and you can read this again. I'm putting a lot of work on this and I'm updating it about every week or two. I'm doing updates on it, but the, the temperatures now, we're gonna to start to get to that period where we actually go from the high 90s and scorching hot to where we start to get into the 80s. And when we start to get into that period, and I'm gonna base this on Georgia, you change the dial, but I've still got all of September, October, and even into November, that is a growing period for my lawn. So I've got plenty of time to do treatments. The one thing we're not going to want to do now is you do not want to put out something like a, a 2900 or 2905. Um, I've stopped putting out melorganite totally. I'm no longer using melorganite. Um, it's just too high in phosphorus, number one. Number two, I'm just not going to put out any more waste products on my lawn. I'm not knocking melorganite. Melorganite is a good product. It does a good job, but I'm just moving away from that. I'm moving to the organic and the super juice. Those are the two things next year, the only things I'll be putting on my lawn is going to be the organic fertilizer and the super juice that I have. Now, the super juice I did a video on. And I can't tell you the number of people that have said, Doc, you have got to bottle that super juice and you got to sell it because I've been using it and my lawn is amazing. It really, really, really is amazing stuff. So when it comes to the fertilizer aspect, um, you got to understand, if you put down a secondary delivery fertilizer, what I like to do is I put down the organic and then what I do right after the organic is I actually go and put super juice right on top, spray super juice right on top of that. Why do I do that? When you spray super juice, you instantly deliver the, the nutrients right away. Within 48 hours, bam, it's getting in there. So now you've got a two or three week period where the super juice is actually helping your lawn and making it grow. At the end of that two weeks, guess what's gonna kick in? The organic's gonna kick in. You're gonna have a ton of amino acids. It has a high carbon to nitrogen ratio. Everything that you could possibly want, this stuff has in it. So that's, that's sort of the program I'm going for now. The one thing you don't, again, I'm getting back to what you don't wanna put down right now in the fall is you just don't wanna push your lawn. And if pushing your lawn, you're putting down something like a 20, a 2500 or a 2505. You don't want to do that. You want to put out a broad spectrum. So a 1012, something like that, 712, that's really what you want to put down. Because what you want to do is make your overall lawn healthy. You want to feed the lawn. You really want to feed the lawn some amino acids. You want to feed a little bit of iron, but you want to develop that healthy lawn so when the cold hits and when it actually goes into dormancy, that your lawn is ready for next year, ready to survive the winter and ready to survive next year. Now let's talk about pre-emergent. Pre-emergent. Um, we're still kind of hot and it's still a little bit of stress out there. And I don't like to put down spray pre-emergence yet. And what I'll put down is, now I'm gonna be using, uh, I think it's the Barricade DG. I'm gonna be using, I'll put a link up to that. I'll also put, but I'm gonna put down a granular pre-emergent. We don't really have to worry about crabgrass in the fall. So I'm not really worried about treating pre-emergent for crabgrass. You put down the pre-emergent based on what's coming up for the next three months. And what are we gonna see in the next three months? We're gonna see a little bit of broad weed activity. We are gonna, once the lawn starts to go into dormancy, once our lawn, as soon as our lawn hits dormancy, we're gonna come out here and we are gonna just spray the living heck out of it um, with a liquid pre-emergent. And that's really gonna be for winter weeds and poanna. Cause you really wanna keep poanna out of your lawn cause it competes in the springtime for the Bermuda. So right now, if you wanted to put out some pre-emergent, if you're starting this, I'm not putting any down right now. But if you're starting to see some weeds, yeah, you can put out, put out some granular pre-emergent now. I like the DG formula. There's a link up to it on the website. But hold off on the spray pre-emergent uh, because we want to do that real heavy. And I don't want to do that right now while the lawn is still active. So let's just wait on the spray. We'll do that as soon as the cold. Once the cold hits, then we're going to go back. We'll put pre a granular down now in the fall. But then when, the, when we actually hit that dormancy level, then we're gonna really spray the heck out of the lawn and that'll hold us for the next three or four months before we actually start to do 
the late winter treatment. Soil, let's talk about soil and the soil quality. This is a great time. This is your last chance to put down the Humic DG. And by the way, the Humic DG in 11 pound bags is back up on stock on Amazon. Plus you can get the 40 pound bags. Plus always get one of the extra, get an extra bag because I use that Humic DG uh, in the super juice. Now remember, Humic, you can put down as much as you want, put it down anytime. It has no burning effects whatsoever. It's basically, it's basically adding carbon you're adding carbon improvements to your soil. It's a soil improvement, that's what it is. So you can put it down anytime, but it needs to be during the time really when it's active growing out here. Man, where'd this wind come from? So uh, Humic DG, go ahead, you still have plenty of time to put it down. If you haven't put down the DG, put down the GG, now is a good time to do it. Let's talk about grass length. Um, grass length, um, I actually came out here and cut mine pretty slow. The only thing you need to be worried about on your grass length is about six weeks before your calculated first frost and about that time you're going to be dormancy. You want to make sure the last six weeks that you're not cutting your grass short. You want to bring it up. You're going to bring it up about an inch longer. So if you're cutting your Bermuda at one inch, you're going to bring it up to about two inches. If you're at one and a half, bring it up to two and a half. And you're going to bring it up a little bit taller as we get closer to the colder weather. Some people say it acts as an insulator to cold and frost. I don't really think that it insulates all that much. I think more important insulation is going to be your actual organic layer. That's going to really hold in the heat temps, but it looks better. So when it turns brown, you have that nice soft fuzzy grass out front. So remember, once your Bermuda goes dormant, it can't grow anymore. So the last cutting heights for the last six weeks is where it's gonna be all winter long. And I talk about that in the video. That's kind of like a haircut. If you had your last haircut of your life, where would you, where would you want your haircut, you know? And that's kind of where we are once we start to get towards the colder weather. So remember, once that cold hits, your Bermuda's gonna stop growing. And that's where it's gonna be for the whole winter. So leave it a little bit longer as we start to get towards the colder weather so that you can have that nice, beautiful, fuzzy brown grass out there. Uh, bugs, again, uh, I put up that bug video. Uh, it's a good time to treat for bugs right now and uh, for grubs as well. So watch the bug and grub video. Poke in here real quick, real quick note. Uh, on the website, you're gonna see a little area that says subscribe. And uh, I, we're testing out a new subscription service where you can subscribe to the website. And the only thing that it really does is it sends you an email whenever I post a new article or do a new post. So if I change a post, update a post, or post a new video and you miss the video, you can subscribe to that. It'll send you, uh, you have to do a double opt-in, so it'll send you an email and you have to opt into it. Otherwise we get a bunch of spam. And uh, that it'll just, again, I tested it out. So far it's working okay. So if you want to subscribe to that, subscribe to it. We don't really send out a whole bunch of emails. It's just an alert system. So try that out. And that's about it, guys. Just a real quick video just to tell you that that calendar is up. You can print off, you can print off the actual, um, print off the reminder chart, but keep going back to that page because I'm gonna constantly do things. A lot of times I get asked questions too. Like the, this morning, someone was asking about new sod. Um, you really don't want to put any kind of pre-emergent down yet on new sod. Um, it's still, there is a possibility you could have a little bit of impact on the root development. So we don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff down on new sod. We really want to hold off on that. We can do that once it starts to go dormant. Then I don't have a problem with it. But I made that, I made a little note on there this morning on it. So again, keep going back. When you look at that calendar, you say, oh, I need to be doing something. Go back to the web page and read what I've updated on there. And I try and keep all those product links updated. Matter of fact, I changed the Grub product links the other day because of the testing that we've been doing and the, and the information, new information we got. Um, the organic fertilizer will be updated as soon as it's available. I've already talked to the company and they say we're hoping that it's gonna be up in the next week or two. Um, so I'll put a, I'll update the links when that's available as well too. If you can't get the organic right now, don't freak out. Just use the super juice for now. Super juice is fine. That's really what we've been doing on our program is using the super juice and the organic. And that's about it. And don't forget guys, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we will have a lot of videos coming up. Um, and plus I will be doing a new Bermuda calendar video 
that's going to be coming up as well too. So click that subscribe button and then you'll know when that video comes out. Done.